Goldline technology. Goldref is one type of this technology. The way it works is there's an electronic circuit inside the ball between the outer layer and the center. Electronic magnetic field is created around the goal's mouth. The strength of the field is monitored by the computer. When the ball passes the goal line, the strength of the field changes and the computer tells the referee if it's goal or not. Ball is another type of goal line technology. Six high speed cameras look on each goal and keep a track of the ball position which is captured in three dimensions. Then it can tell if the ball has passed the line in seconds. It then sends a signal to the ref's watch telling them if it's a goal or not. Hawkeye is used in most football tournaments. First major one being the 2014 World Cup. According to Hawkeye, there is only a 0.15cm error margin, while referees without this can have large error margins. For example, Germany vs England 2010 World Cup, where England clearly scored but deemed as no goal according to the referee. But the replay showed it clearly crossed the line. This ended up changing the game as it went from what could have been a 2-2 to a 4-1 loss. This is why I do believe goal line technology has stepped forward in helping the referee make the right goal. Video assistant referee is a type of technology which allows the ref to watch a replay of the incident and tell if it's a foul or not. This is all done by a video assistant ref team. The team is located close by the team and has access to all relevant broadcaster cameras. The goal of VAR is that it does not want to destroy the essential flow of the game. Also, it would only change the ref's decision if there is a clear error and the only time it would ever be reviewed are when there is a goal or a no-goal decision, penalties or no penalties, direct red cards and any mistaken identities. According to Mike Riley, VAR is not intended to make referees decisions 100% correct, but it will be viewed as success if it leads to a 2% reduction error by officials. So why use VAR? Results from Werner Helson paper error and judging offside shows that in 2002 World Cup there was a total of 256 offside decisions and 26 of them being an incorrect call. The error percentage did decrease in 2006 World Cup to only 7.6%. According to PGMO, refs make a total of 245 decisions per game with an average of 5 errors, whilst the assistant referee makes on average 50 calls at a 98% accuracy. After viewing all the evidence, it shows that referees have improved as years goes on, but with VAR it could help prevent them making any of those big errors which people remember the most. So what were the impacts of VAR in the 2018 World Cup? As you can see from the figures, the amount of penalties per game increased and the amount of goals scored from set pieces also increased. So what's my opinion of VAR? I think it's a good concept which seems a bit of improvement before it's introduced in all major leagues and competitions. With the improvement, I think it could help referees make the right calls in those tight moments 